Hello and welcome to another edition of Temino Joomla Tips. This week I'd like to show you how to move content from one Joomla website to another using a component called Export Content. First thing first, we need to download the component. Just search the Joomla extension directory for Export Content and you'll come to this page here and let's click on Download. Once you get to the download page, choose the version of the component that works best for your site, in this case it's Joomla 1.5 plus, and let's go and download it. And let's have it locally. Now let's go to our website here. In order for export content to work, it needs to be installed in both the originating and the target website. In this case, I have two websites where I need to move content from one to the other. I have a website called Telina Stage, and this is the one where I'm first going to install the component. Let's browse and install. As you can see, export content is a legacy component, so we need to go to the plugin manager and turn on legacy. Since legacy is obviously not activated, I'll show you a trick to find it quickly. I'm just going to parse by the plugins that are not yet activated and there is legacy. All we need to do is click on the icon there and now legacy is activated. Let's go back to install and let's try again. And there we go. Now the component is installed. Let's go to components and to export content. Incidentally, I should make an aside that if you have a Joomla 1.0 website and you want to transfer the content only to Joomla 1.5, what you need to do is download both the 1.5 version and the 1.0 version, export from 1.0 into 1.5. It works very well for that purpose. Of course, I also use the MTW Migrator to actually migrate complete sites if I need to migrate users, uh, virtual mark products, and so on and so forth. But for content only, the export content component works very well. Now let's click on export compile site and in this screen what we need to do is select the sections and categories that we need to export from the site. Next we compile it and then all we have to do is download it. To download it we simply have to click on the download compile content, save the file and it's a good idea to click on new folder and create a folder for this because the name remains the same and if you're doing several websites you cannot tell them apart otherwise so I like to start with the date open that up and save so now that we exported the content we need to import it in our site let's go to the target website that we have and uh, I have already installed the export content component but it's not quite yet time to go there. What we need to do first is to use the regular Joomla install and install interface to look for the content export that we have just done on the other website and there it is and now we install it. You will notice that the content from the originating website installs just like a component. One aside before we, we go and import the content. If your articles, if your content has images with it, the component will compile them in a zip file that you can then transfer over to your new site. In this case, that's not necessary because I've already done that with Cipano. Now let's go to the export content component. And now one important thing to remember is that you are importing sections and categories from a Joomla website. You cannot have section categories or content for the matter with the same names in the target website. In this case, I don't. It's a, it's a completely empty website. You can see that there are no sections. But you have to make sure that that's the case or otherwise you'll get some nasty errors. Now, because this website is empty, I can click on the transfer imported data by sections. That will import the entire section category structure. So let's select all and click on insert. Now we are at the screen that shows us what the system is going to do and all the content that it is going to import. If you have a lot of content, it might be a good idea to import it a little bit at the time. I've had the experience uh, of the script choking, probably because of the limit on the server. And click on save. And we are done. Let's go look at our content. Let's go first to the sections. And there are our sections. Let's look at the category manager. 
and indeed we have all our categories in there and finally to the article manager and indeed we have everything now another caveat you might have noticed that I didn't show in the podcast a, a screen at the end of the import that's because I actually got about a page worth of uh, PHP errors unfortunately I paused the the podcast the screen the screencast maker and uh, and I immediately went to troubleshoot it so I couldn't display it on screen but essentially what the problem was is that that website's content originally the originating website content was imported with MTW migrator from a Joomla 1.0 website in Joomla 1.0 it was possible to have empty content items in Joomla 1.5 that's no longer possible however MTW migrator was able to import possibly some empty pages from the original Joomla 1.0 website and it didn't create any errors with MTW migrator when I moved the content from the Joomla 1.5 originating site to this new site here obviously that empty content created a problem and generated the PHP errors fortunately the content has transferred completely and I checked while I was offline and so we had the content except of course for the empty page but we don't care about that one and uh, so make sure that you're, you don't have any empty content if possible at all otherwise you're gonna have to deal with the with the PHP errors and uh, one solution would be that to first do an import on a staging site to make sure that everything goes smoothly and then do it on your main production site so for instance if I wanted to import the content in a slightly safer manner I could have chosen for instance to import one section at a time I could have decided to actually do it on a category basis by choosing the transfer imported data by categories and with the import by category you can also choose which section to view at a time well this concludes this uh, quick screencast on how to import and export content using the export content component for Joomla I hope you enjoyed this edition of Termino Joomla Tips remember that Termino Joomla Tips is brought to you by ContiCreative.com Conti Creative we specialize in Joomla websites e-commerce social networking websites we offer training in Joomla web design web development we conduct online classes on uh, Joomla development and web development using GoToMeeting and it's a really neat way to learn how to work with Joomla or to learn uh, the profession itself every student we have enjoys it very much to be able to just log in and basically be in class in a one-on-one -on -one situation the type of online training we offer is directed at web developers those web developers that are curious about Joomla and they want to bypass about a, a six months to a year worth of uh, learning that they had to do or website owners that would like to learn how to build their own websites for web developers and website owners I also teach my Dreamweaver Joomla method which currently is a book in progress that leverages the power of Dreamweaver for building any dynamic website but Joomla websites in particular well this brings this edition of Termino Joomla tips to its conclusion thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next week 10 minutes Joomla tips was brought to you by ContiCreative.com a provider for Joomla web development and Joomla online training for website owners, Joomla users and web developers.